Hi, good afternoon. Hi. How are you guys? Oh, fine, thank you. For discussing this today, yes. what time we will discuss? I think this dispute uh, between KPI and their organization is the big time for our discussion today. Yes, it also good to discuss. PT Jarum as a big cigarette company in Indonesia has long spent a, a big CSR fund to the, the Jarum Commission for training the Indian athlete. But lately, has become a problem with the demand of KPI. Is it true? Uh, I agree. If a large company should give their JSR to community developments, but I will not agree if they are uh, exploiting children for their business purpose, because this is a cigarettes. Uh, cigarettes. The children should not be exposed uh, to cigarettes because it will be infect their life forever. Based on 2018 risk cases data, there are around 7.8 million children who smoke, or around 9.1 percent of children in Indonesia. We should reduce to. 5%. Now, this condition actually goes up to 9.1%. In my opinion, we must protect the children by giving the right understanding. Of course, we should not give wrong information in this case. Children be quick, will quickly want to look that interesting, interesting and then he try. That is, we take care, protect, do not let the children later get the disease. We only limit, do not let the children smoke because we know this will endanger their, endanger their health. We must provide protection for children. Uh, however, evidence indicates that even at a young age, uh, between three to six years respond to tobacco advertisements and this is advertisements uh, highlights that the smoke is slightly more than adults and uh, it is showing that the only adults smoking the cigarettes but the impact of these advertisements actually reinforce and give uh, to the imaginations of the children that uh, of the smoker itself and encourage them to smoke also. I can say tobacco industries always continues to targeting children directly or indirectly to smoke, such as through the smoke movies or advertising movies showing that it is uh, normal to smoke it, and with showing a gentleman's or sporty style, sporty style of men uh, smoking. And also sponsoring sponsorship, yeah. PB uh, Jarum also sponsorship of events. Uh, the children of often attend their events, and uh, by we have data, we can say that uh, showing the children uh, who encounter the cigarettes uh, in early ages will become a permanent smoker when they are adults, and it is a cigarette burner. I agree that smoking is dangerous, especially for children. But I need to say that PB Jarum has actually explained to the mass media that the Jarum Foundation and Jarum Business Club are separated from the PB Jarum uh, Cigar Project. Whatever it is, uh, the, uh, but the perceptions of the most people uh, that the Jarum with the logo. Cigarette logo uh, identically with the promotion of the cigarette. Where, where, where uh, during during the badminton events, the children use t-shirts uh, with log, uh, with red badminton logo and cigarettes. Uh, the KPIE said it is a violation because they they did uh, exploitation of the children uh, by hidden their economic purpose or something like that and involving children in the cigarette promotions. Uh, activities. We need to know that Baby Jarum has been involved in sibling by audition in several areas to training as and treat. All who pass the audition have then trained in Baby Jarum for many years until they reach for dream of world champion.
all that was done by Bebe Jaru without collecting any fees from community or participant who attend the training. Jaru has published talk at Lib internationally. Since the 1970s, many badminton artists were born from Bebe Jaru, such as Lip Shuking, Alan Budi Kusuma, Tantowi Ahmad, Kevin Sanjaya, Liliana Nasir, and others. So, we cannot deny that BB Jarum has a big hand in making Indonesia famous in international badminton arena. And I it need to be reminded that Jarum Foundation and the Jarum Badminton Club are separate from the PT Jarum as a secret uh, position. So, there are is two different institutions. PT Jarum has complied with regulation on corporate social responsibility, which are indeed used the benefit of the community. In this case, GSR fund are channeled through the Jarum Foundation. Jarum Foundation also by forming the Jarum Badminton Club has also trained children from an early age to be educated and train the become reliable athlete. And it has been proven that many athletes both from PT Jarum can excel in international event. KPAI will consider the program to be used as a promotional tool or cigarette advertisement. KPAI together with the number of ministers agreed that the development of children's talent and interest in sport must be indeed be carried out. For this reason, KPAI and several ministers agreed to stop the selection of badminton scholarship by the Jarum Foundation until the exploitation of their children was eliminated. The elements of the exploitation labor to KPAI at the times at the uh, selections, selections uh, release, uh, the company uh, impose compulsory to the children to wear t-shirts with the Jarum logo alongside with the badminton club logo. Uh, according to KPAI, with this uh, with this policy, uh, when the company put the logo, Jarum logo alongside with the uh, badminton club logo, it is lit the children to expose the dangers of the spirits. Baby Jarum has violated the government regulation number 109 years 2012 about the safeguards of materials uh, containing the addictive uh, containing the addictive substance uh, in the form of tobacco product or health. So uh, in this case addicting contains in the tobacco products in brands um, uh, okay, the, in advertising and advertising or uh, commercial activity. In this case, Bebe uh, is not violating the regulation but enforcing regulations. In my opinion, uh, the conclusion of this uh, our discussion today, it is about, I think, that the children is a vulnerable target for the tobacco industry to market their product. And I think children has right to defend themselves and has right to uh, to away from the activity that will harm uh, their uh, development. But in general, it can be concluded that they are in the rules that are violated if the Vijaru is considered to be the same as the Vijaru. But in business getting the Bejaru has contributed to the nation through the Bejaru. The Bejaru is still a cigarette manufacturing company which is incidentally cannot use the icon children in its event. Yes, but we are grateful. Finally, the Bejaru agree without using a logo, a brand with, with a brand image of cigarette product. product in organizing badminton activities starting in 2020. KPAI agreed to revoke the letter requesting the end of 
the general audition of badminton scholarship. Okay, guys, it will also be exciting for our discussion discussion today. Thank you all for all. See you next time. See you. See you. See you.